By the way, if you notice there's something different with my hair, you're not going crazy. I did do something different, so just a little quick disclaimer. <laughs> Bye. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. 26 weeks pregnant. Um, as far as the nesting goes from last week, it is either I am full on nesting or I don't want to do jack crap nothing. <laughs> a recap of like last week because I still am having days where I'm like super nesting. I'm like either super motivated and super excited to like clean and get everything done or I just want to lay around and do absolutely nothing which is <laughs> I think more days than not. I just want to just prop my feet up and just hang out. Just Netflix and chill. Okay so I said that I was super picky while being pregnant and while yes that is still true I have slowly tried to branch out because I'm running out of ideas and getting so tired of just chicken all the time and I still need that protein that I decided to go back to ground beef like I wasn't super super disgusted about the idea it didn't excite me but I wasn't like completely against having some ground beef again as soon as I tried ground beef again I got so sick and you know what a couple days later find out that there's a recall on ground beef that it was making a whole bunch of people sick so I'm pretty sure that is my problem right there so I'm going to give ground beef another shot uh, <laughs> in a couple weeks I believe just to make sure all of that ground beef all the salmonella food poisoning exposure is out of all the ground beef and then I will try it again it's October and I am sitting here thinking about Halloween ideas. I am thinking I want to do some kind of Halloween inspiration for maternity, you know, because there's not really much. So I'm going to get like sit down and get pretty creative and try to figure out like as far as all you expecting mamas who want to dress up for Halloween, you know, something family appropriate, nothing scary or anything like that but give you some ideas of what you can do for, you know, a maternity Halloween costume. And at the moment, I'm really pondering a mummy because, you know, the pun, but <laughs> you're gonna be a mummy, you know? It's funny, huh? I got jokes. Not really that funny now that I'm saying it out loud, but in my head, it was like funny when I thought about it and I was like, oh, mummy, you know, you know, cause you're expecting. Anyways, I think that would be super, so something super easy that you could, you know, find things around your house or maybe go pick up a few things and it wouldn't like break the bank for you having to order a costume for, you know, a Halloween maternity costume, which I haven't really looked into too many of those either, but first option was a mummy. The second option was, what's the second one? Like the skeleton. The second option was a skeleton, you know, like you get the shirt that has like, the skeleton and it has like the baby skeleton like on your belly and then you have like the skeleton legs. I thought that would be something like really cute idea for Halloween as well. And then I had a couple other ideas but I'll save that for the specific Halloween maternity ideas video. We got a puppy. Okay so my a few weeks ago it was my son's birthday, his fifth birthday, and his birthday was actually, he was supposed to come on my husband's birthday, but he came exactly two weeks early. Fast forward two weeks past my son's birthday, my husband's birthday, we got a puppy and we put money down on it and I will post a picture right here of this cutie pie. We have already named him Axel and he is a German Shepherd and we are super excited. We don't get to pick him up until the beginning of November. I think she said like, I want to say it was like November 4th or 6th or something like that once he gets weaned from his mother. Insomnia is hitting me like a freight train. I'm so exhausted, but when it comes time to actually getting in bed, and I don't know if it's because it's still a family bed shared situation because I have like my two year old basically sleeps <laughs> like right next to me or on top of me alongside of my pregnancy pillow. I don't know. We got to figure this situation out quick because 
I don't know how we all fit in that queen size bed because we did for a little while and it was, I thought that was tight, but now like somehow, I guess it's the kids just sprawling out because you know, they don't just lay um, vertically, they lay horizontally and like diagonally and like just all over the place. Anyways, I, I don't have any more room. We gotta, like I said, we gotta figure something out. It is time to like shoo them out of the bed anyway. So the last thing on here that I really wanted to mention and then I wanna like go over a couple things from last week that I forgot to mention that I'm still, that are still relevant to this week. The last thing on my list is considering my labor options. I have been, you know how I said I had nightmares before? Well, I'm still having nightmares. Um, I used to have nightmares. Well, I'm still continuing to have those. And I don't know if it's just my nerves and just being worried because last time I was pretty traumatized. I'll have to go over that with you guys and tell you my labor just story with my second one. Well, I don't think I've ever shared my first or my second one. I've just little bits and pieces. I'll have to share that with you guys another time, but I think I was so traumatized by how quick I was so traumatized by the second one and how fast everything happened Basically the second time around. Okay. The first one was super walk in the park and then the second time around came and it was just I Mean my first one was quick, but my second one was even quicker like basically two hours of, of contractions and then barely making it to the hospital and I push a couple times and here is the second child. So I think because I didn't have an epidural and I was freaking out, I was just all over the place and it was just super scary and super terrifying to me. <laughs> I think that's why I'm so nervous about this, but I think that's where this nightmare thing is coming in and I'm trying to figure out my, my birthing plan. So I want to really figure something out, like what I want to do. I still need to go pre-register, but the thing is I don't have insurance and so I'm kind of worried about going up there and not having insurance and what am I going to have to do and will it even matter and I'm still figuring out all of that because even though people are calling me a pro at um, the whole baby making and you know birthing game, I still don't know <laughs> a lot of things. I think there's a lot of first time moms still out there that know way more than I did because I didn't read any baby books any of the time times and I follow the week by week things but I just kind of glance over it and I don't really take too much seriously because I don't want to freak myself out or work myself up over anything like I just want to stay super clear-minded and just kind of go with the flow and that's what I still want to do but I need to have a plan for my laboring this time because last time was too it was too crazy too crazy I don't know I'll let you know what I come up with <laughs> but if you have a birthing plan that you followed and it worked well for you let me know I'd like to know what you guys actually wanted and what actually happened and if you have one and you don't have kids yet please share with me to help make my decision so I can share on with other new moms or you know just reoccurring new moms again <laughs> I guess you could say to give them an idea too because even though this is my third one I am still stressing and worried about it okay so there was a few things that I wanted to address from last time that I forgot to mention I did put it in the description box on my 25 week video update and I will put a link to that as well as a card up for you to go check that out if you haven't seen it but I did forget to mention my weight I Last week I said my weight was like 140 and so I am slowly gaining but I don't think I'm gaining as much as I should be but I really uh, I'm now at 141 so I've only gained a pound. I don't know if that's normal or not but that's where I'm at personally. That I always have so much to say even with having notes there's always a lot of things that I forget to say and I think about later especially while I'm editing and I'm like oh yeah I forgot to mention this but now it's kind of too late. And just kind of like let it roll off so I'm trying to get better about that and if I do forget something make sure you read my description because I will add things in there and I, I'm trying to stay up to date and up, update it every single week so that way you all will also know so make sure you read my description box too because there might be something in there that I did not mention in the actual video that is still going on it could have been like a couple days after that something that had happened and you know whatever it could have been anything <laughs> Home. Yeah, she's coming tomorrow. Get home. If you follow me on my other social platforms, but you probably already seen that it was a while ago. My driver's side window busted. 
while I was driving, like out of nowhere, like the entire window shattered and fell on top of me. And it was really traumatizing and dramatic. But I do have a full blog post that you can read about what happened, all the details of everything that happened on that. So you can go check that out. I'll also put a link in the description for that. As far as cravings go, I really don't have cravings unless you call seeing something and be like, oh yeah, I want that, but not say like watermelon. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. I don't just be like out of the blue, oh yeah, I just want some watermelon. Or you know, it's 12 o'clock at night and I want some ice cream. Let's go out for ice cream. I don't have anything like that. I'll see something and I'll be like, ooh, that sounds really good and then I'll want it right then. So unless you call that a craving, that's what's going on with me. And I've been absolutely loving caramel. <laughs> on my popcorn and then with my apples like I've been wanting a whole bunch of apples and caramel and fruits so I guess you could say it's kind of healthy you know the fruit part of it but the caramel part I don't think is so healthy. that's it and Chinese food Chinese food I could eat that up I want to save for breakfast lunch and dinner but maybe more of just like lunch and dinner every day that would be okay with me and now I think my husband is a little upset with me because I have almost What's a good word for this? I have banned almost Chick-fil-A. Yuck. Not filling me some Chick-fil-A while being pregnant. And I don't know if it's just because the last three times, even though they were different locations, well, two of them were the same location, one of them wasn't. But their food was just gross. It was really bad. It was like twice the salad was not fresh at all. It was really nasty. And then this, then I, I didn't want to get the salad the third time. So I got a chicken sandwich and it was like, I don't know, it was nasty. It stunk. It was nasty. I just couldn't, I lost my appetite completely. So now I just, ugh. anyways, I'm rambling again. So that is all that I have for you guys for my 26 weeks update. I will give you your belly shot and I will get out of here. I have a lot of things to do. We're really busy right now. I have a lot of planning, organizing to do as far as where we're gonna be at. Louisiana, Houston, bringing things back. Planning a maternity shoot. My mom's coming over tomorrow morning. We have a lot going on. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I hope you stay well and here is your belly shot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not wearing the other one. I'll wear shorts or pants or something next time. Oh, wait, y'all can see the belly a little bit better. Also wanting to do a, a maternity slaying outfit on a budget kind of thing. But if you have any other ideas, let me know. So like I said, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I like engaging with you guys. I'm not very good at seeing my updates, but I'm working, I'm working on seeing my notification updates and getting back to them when I do actually see them. My emails is a <laughs> disaster zone. I need to clean that up and get organized on there as well because there's a lot of things that I don't see. <clears throat> Anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.